Those are Heteroandria formosas, least killifish. Native to Florida. Camera's having a tough time focusing on them. That's a female. They, uh, they actually have uh, placentas and uh, an assembly line uh, process of reproducing, which like a mammal does. Typical live bearer would actually have eggs develop inside the body and then dispel all the babies at once. These particular fish are unique because they uh, have a baby once every couple of days. And these particular fish are extremely healthy specimens. They're descendants of ones that I caught in the wild several years ago. And because Florida waterways are mostly blocked off and a lot of them are polluted, I had to use NASA satellite imagery to figure out where to collect the fish at. But these were all born in my tanks. And I'm thinking about putting these guys into a larger tank. Mostly females. I don't know where the males are. There's a male right there. And the focus on this is crappy. I'm feeding them a mix of spirulina, low ash flakes, and freeze dried daphnia. I would feed them plankton, but the stuff stinks. And then we have the snails. These are live bearing Malayan snails. They actually, see? Well, you can see them on the glass right there. The live bearing Malayan uh, snail. They basically live in the gravel, come out at night. I got like two or three at a, um, at a tropical fish uh, plant hatchery, plant nursery near Vandenberg Airport. And since then, they've taken over over at least three of my tanks. So I haven't really seen more to common pond snails since I put those in there. This tank right here, though, I'm gonna pull out. 